group one last time because this is the last episode of the 2019 through 2020 school year and so uh, this episode's completely different than any other episode we've done for youth group and it's a little less like youth group and it's more of remembering it's reminiscing it's looking back on the past the past year to see what god has done in our student ministry and so uh, you know you have tv shows that they'll have an episode that they um, go back to they do a bunch of flashbacks and things like that and so that's what we're going to do here tonight for youth group and so we hope that you are excited about this uh, we hope that you uh, will just take the time to listen to watch uh, as you'll hear from uh, three of my friends special guests that will join me tonight actually four if you count if you count four i don't know you'll see what i mean uh, in a little bit, but uh, man, I just want to say as the last episode of Youth Group for this school year, as we come to a close, uh, I just want to say, man, it, this has been such a good, um, man, such a good thing for me this past year because God has used our students, he's used you guys to encourage me, to lift me up and, and to help me grow in my relationship with God. And so uh, what I want to do is I want to go through some of my favorite moments from this past year and, and here's a video that kind of shows you all of the things that went on in our student ministry that made the top of the list for me personally this past year so check it out
back here with Maggie, the Maggie Lashley. Yeah, you remember that. <laughs> and so Maggie was one of our kind of like OGs, right? Like right. the people that, that started um, preparing the youth group and all that stuff. And so I thought it'd be cool to have Maggie and also a couple other friends join me uh, throughout tonight. And so uh, Maggie, it's been a long year, right? It's been, it's been a, been a good one. year. Yeah. It's been a good year. <laughs> But um, I just want to know, like, what are some of your, like, favorite moments from, from youth group? Oh, gosh. There's so many, right? I it's mean, a... honestly, gosh. Um, like, does this take you back right now? Like, like, us doing Talk About It Tuesday. Remember that? Oh, my gosh. Did anyone out there watch like, Talk About It Tuesday? Talk I mean, About It Tuesday, like, there was some prime moments. There, there were, were also some... We don't, have, we don't have to talk about those, but, <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, yeah. like remember the time we played the water wars yes, that and, was uh, probably, and I threw all the water in your face. Probably one of my least favorites and favorites because it was during my second period class. So oh, I, I went back to school with like wet hair and like makeup under my eyes. I looked a wreck. So but, what did uh, people think? Like what happened to you? Okay. Oh, it was just the church internship. No problem. <laughs> No big deal. But we also just fill your guts. Remember yes. when we ate all those disgusting things? It was and awful. What was your? What did you have to eat? Uh, was it pig's feet yep, or something? Pig's feet. Uh, canned Some, meat. That was the worst. That I was think. Awful. Or pig's feet was the worst. Pig's yeah. feet was oh. the texture of it was really Gosh. nasty. But uh, but we also we hosted the very first youth group online. COVID hit. We did. Messed everything <laughs> up, and so we thought we'd make the best of it, and so of we were the host of that first night and it was so cool do you remember that night yeah I mean, we were at the church for hours all i mean day. hours all day. and i just remember showing up at like 10 and not leaving till like six or seven it was really but late. oh my gosh and yeah. by the end of it we were just kind of going going crazy because just a little bit just a little i mean man i can just remember it like it was yesterday bad parts Carnival. We keep messing up. I'm going insane. I think we both are. Why are we leaning in? Listen, people. If we don't make it out of here. <laughs> if I don't make it out of here. Well, you know who to go. Okay, I'm just going to sit back down. You sit, do we need to do this? Sit down. <laughs> and I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for the closing, maybe we should come back here. Is that you? Hello? You out there? I... Are you... Are you... Is anybody home? Opened up. It's the police. Are you a senator? <laughs> oh my gosh. You need to put that in the, in the bloopers. And back to you at the station. <laughs> Teresa with the latest. <laughs> this just ended. Earthquake hits North Platte, Nebraska. Whoa! <laughs> that was a that was a doozy there. That's Thanks, Karen. Like, that's more like a twister.
back to you in the station. <laughs> okay. There's at eight o'clock. We cannot wait. Wait. Can, we cannot wait to see you there. Woo! Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. It's Zach and Maggie, <laughs> and we're gonna be your hosts tonight. Um, Jack Flabbit. <laughs> hey, it's the tech guys here. <laughs> and I'm Karsten. And I'm Seely. And welcome to the Tech Guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm too close. I'm like, get this woman out of here. You're like, I'm too close. Oh, no, I gotta get close. Yeah. I think your head's cut off. See you next time. And also stay healthy. We didn't talk about that part. What do I... What? And that's a wrap. <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh. Wow. That was that a was. that was an interesting <laughs> first night of youth group online. I mean the earthquake we really put that, like we put that out on on the internet. We did I for mean. everyone to see. By the <laughs> way, you can go back and watch all of the episodes on our YouTube channel. But um, remember, like the stupid earthquake thing, yeah. like whoa. Or, yeah. <laughs> or when we were in the tech booth. <laughs> you were you were Karsten, yeah. I was Celia. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so that makes shout sense. out to you guys. I mean, uh... <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um so yeah, that was the first night, and we've had a lot of good moments oh gosh, uh, in between yeah. the first night and now. And yes. uh, I remember one. Remember when you guys, you and Tom and Bailey, would come into my office on Sundays and spend the entire day there until youth group. Oh I mean, my was, gosh. I couldn't get rid of you guys. No, absolutely not. And like I we like went a break, to lunch, you know? and then we would come here and then just do some work. But really, it's just me making graphics and you yeah. know, hating all of them. But. And yeah, we didn't work well together. No, um, absolutely. But, but one of those Sundays, we went to Camp Kamika yes. because we were kind of uh, looking to see maybe we want to take the youth group to camp right. and Camp Kamika. And so um, that was a lot of fun. It yeah, was... I was put in charge of the uh, vlog aspect of the trip. And um, it was... Where is the vlog? It was... Where do people go to watch it? Um, you can contact me at my personal phone number and I will send you all the videos because we didn't put it together. <laughs> <laughs> but she has the videos I and do. a lot of good moments. Oh and my so, gosh, yeah. Uh, man, I, I I really want to watch yeah. some more of that. Like yeah. I, I haven't seen them in a while and I just um, I just want to Maybe we can go back in time. Yeah. Tom, did you swim in your hair? Yeah, I did. You did. Oh, thank you. There you go. How rude. Oh, you can feel it. You can feel there's a pool in here. <laughs> Do not. Wait, you match. <laughs> look, look. Wait. Ready? Fine. <laughs> but it's not too shabby. Oh, that's, that's a pretty big pool. Kayla told me it was a little size. So, uh... <laughs> Shenanigans. So the, uh, the heater broke the other day, and so it's like it's like nine now, so it's a little bit warm. <laughs> Do you used to have a hot tub, and then it's like okay, I'm never felt like this. We're just all trying to put each other in. Hot tub time machine three. It's really humid in this room. I really like it. Like I don't like it, but it's like warm. Okay, I gotta go. Man, what a great, I great mean, trip. I wore my white shoes. Brand new. I mean, and there's mud like, everywhere. It was right after food. we got back with, like, Spring City with all the middle schoolers, and you got that, like, outfit. And I just remember right. saying every The drip time, was like, just, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Gosh. That's a cool kid say. But I, like, walking into that pool room, I could just, like, feel the humidity <laughs> watching that video. It's like, like COVID <laughs> everywhere. Um, oh, hey, sorry. But, uh, yeah, so that was that was a lot of fun. Um, man, I think about our youth group nights. They were so fun. What what were some of your favorite youth groups that we, we filmed? Because oh, it wasn't gosh. Sunday night. We had to yeah. film all week, and, yeah. and it was it was a lot. Probably, like, what was your favorite? Yeah, probably my favorite is gonna be the the Easter video. Yes. Uh, it took it took all day, and like this was like probably our <laughs> longest one, and we were going insane. I mean, absolutely insane. That was also uh, when uh, Tom was filming, and the audio just went out, and so, so we filmed like 
two hours yeah. it felt like yeah. of no audio so we had to go back that was a long day yes but we had a lot of good moments like <laughs> you said um, remember when we were in the car it was you me and patricia how could i forget and patricia has this dumb unicorn thing that's up there Gosh, why would she have that and it fell it just yeah. randomly fell because unicorns you know <laughs> am i right yeah and so i picked it up and gave it to oh anyways i man i really wish that you guys could see it i wish yeah. there was some way that so the clue said, oh, well, there goes Cordy. The, that's okay. She likes to fall off sometimes. Uh, but, Why do you have uh, a unicorn in the... Uh, okay. Unicorn in the... Uh, okay. in the uh, but uh, the clue said, where we do the... Uh, it said like a... Uh, Okay, stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Patty, but you just hit me in the forehead. <laughs> I, really, oh, man. I really don't care. Okay, <laughs> so the clue said, where we take the... Did that hurt? Just a little, but it was more funny. I right mean, it was then. hilarious. I mean, it was right smack dab in the middle we of your We literally floor. could not stop laughing, and Patty was uh, like, okay. <laughs> and she, Patty, being her you Patty know, self, Patty. just wanted to keep yeah. you know, going. Keep it cool. I no mean, sympathy. No. She didn't care. None. She really yeah. hates you. She does. I don't know why. I thought we were friends, but I don't know. Whatever. But uh, remember, well, for the first couple months, we did this thing called an internship. Oh, yeah. Because then COVID happened. Right. So um, did you enjoy that? Like, what were some <laughs> of like, your big moments from the internship? Dude? I loved every second of it. I, mean, I remember coming into the office, and it's just like my favorite part of the day. Um, but one, one night after youth group, we were cleaning up, and you brought ice cream sandwiches for like everyone and it was like one of the first couple of weeks we started and there's just this ice cream sand sandwich sitting throughout youth group and it was just sitting on the table i was getting ready to pick it up and you just smack it and it goes <laughs> all over me and i remember i had this bowl of salsa for some reason and you're on the ground and i'm like why would you do that and i almost spilled it on you or one of my one of my favorite memories was when we were on the conference call with the mission trip <laughs> people. Yes, what were their and names? That's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. They were really like bubbly and excited. Like not being able to hear them. It kept cutting in and out and we were just laughing so hard but there was no mute button on like the telephone right. in the office. Or if there was, so I didn't we were just working. like, but oh Yeah, it was gosh. like they're trying to like map out the mission trip and we would have gone to laughing. St. Louis for and we weren't listening. No. And so I. Very I, disrespectful. It's one of those where you like, you just laugh yes. and then you just keep laughing and laughing and laughing and That's, laughing. And that so. was one of the times. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite memories. Oh, oh man. Good God. times during the internship, I mean, right? Seriously. You learned a lot. Oh. What was lots. the biggest thing you learned? Probably how to make graphics on Pixelmator Pro. Who'd you learn from? This guy. This guy. <laughs> anyway, um, so one last thing before, before you go. Um, you were a part of the worship team and you guys always, you didn't really do worship songs sometimes. Yeah. You started off with a fun song. Right. And so right. what was your like favorite fun song? Gosh, I mean, probably my favorite fun song, like when we had to record everything was probably unwritten with Bailey and Savannah. Oh, that, that was, was so awkward. But it was just, so funny. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that okay, one. Okay. Well, maybe, uh, you be the judge of that. I was planning on having Maggie and Savannah here, but they uh, bailed on me. I don't know where they are. Um, but we are so glad that you're here, and um, I'm going to be singing Unwritten. I am unwritten, can't read my mind, I'm undefined. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Um, I'm supposed to be joined by a special guest today, but... Uh, hello! <laughs> I noticed that you put the camera so Patricia. close, you can't even see my freshly polished loafers. <laughs> so I had to show them. Freshly polished? Yeah, look at them. There's not a speck of dirt. I but see there's dirt all over the... Oh, stop. I don't know. 
Um, so, hey, Patricia. What are you eating? Oh, I just got my handy dandy Raisin Bran Crunch. No, I want to eat this. <laughs> okay, apparently I won't be eating that. Raisin Bran Crunch is a sin. It's been proven. You know who's a sin? Full person? <laughs> you. You are. So, um, Patricia, Hurtful. thank you for joining me. I don't care. Thank you for joining me uh, tonight as we look back on youth group over the past year. You were only with us for a few months. Yes. Thank God. Big but mistake made by you guys. Should have hired me sooner. Should have fired you sooner. But oh. no, we um, we had a lot of good moments with you um, on the set. And I, I can't help but think of that first day where you were interviewed that by our own Maggie Lashley. And I don't know what Maggie was thinking. I don't know who was on the HR team. I thought about packing up and moving after that interview. Well, I we thought about saying no to you, but okay. I could not stand that girl. What? I knew from the first question. It just. What was it about Maggie, though? Everything. She called me. I can't even say it. Patty. Yes. It's just a shortened name. Anyway, um, we are. We're gonna. Um, are you are you good? Like you keep eating the raisin bran. Oh okay. god. Well, yes. I'm I love raisin bran. I can eat it at all times. And I'm gonna eat it. Well, are we gonna reflect back or anything? Or on that first interview, let's reflect. What what are you looking at? Oh, right there. So how are you doing today, Patty? Uh it's not Patty. Never been Patty. Uh don't know where you got that, but uh I'm, I'm doing quite fine. How are you doing? I'm just doing wonderful. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thanks for having me, yeah. Maggie. So tell everyone, uh, what brought you here to North Platte? Yeah, so uh, one day I was just checking on my chicks, you know, regular day for Patricia. Of course. And um, I was like, you know, I'm ready for something new. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted something different. It's like, it's always been my dream to host a game show, so I did some searching on the web for some new jobs, and I saw here in North Platte, Nebraska, First Church was hiring for their youth group uh, show, and I was like, why not? Yeah. And I interviewed, and here I am. Here you are. Yes. So you left your husband and your chicks behind? Uh, yes, uh, but I, I don't have a husband, but I'm uh, single and ready to mingle. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yes. So tell us a little bit about some of your hobbies here in town, Patty. Uh, it's not Patty, like I said before. You keep doing it. It's Patricia, Sorry. but um, it's okay. Uh, but uh, one of the things I like to do is knit. Uh, it's very peaceful. It's one of the ways I get rid of some stress. Oh, and I'm yes. quite quite good at it, too. Oh, good. Uh, I like to knit gloves, scarves, anything you can think of. Mm -hmm. So if you ever need anything, just let me know. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, another activity that I like to participate in is uh, water aerobics out at the rec center. It's a great facil facility here yeah. in North Platte. Uh, so glad that I moved here. Just mm -hmm. uh, every Thursday, me and the gals get together and do some work, and you know, just it's it's great for the body. Yes, for sure. Why are you laughing? I, I'm sorry. It's, I just, it's not funny. I, I laugh when I'm nervous, it's, it's Patty. It's I don't know exercise, why I just uh, do that. It's up, uh, Patricia. By the way, you just said Patty again. Oh wow! I just the fifth time. I, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep doing that. So you said you're single and ready to mingle. <laughs> yes, I am. So um, just tell us a little bit about what you look for in a guy. Yeah, I prefer that he's tall, dark, and handsome. Uh, you know, has brown eyes. <laughs> Dreamy. Uh, but also uh, has to have brown hair. Uh, so curly on top, a little bit bigger on top, you know. Yeah. And uh, of course he has to be a chicken man. He has, he has to love chickens just as much as I do. Yes. You know, I had to leave my chicks back in Illinois. So mm. I'm looking to get some more. Yeah. But. So if you are... Anything like Patty just described. Uh, Patricia? Patricia. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but come yes. on down to First Church and uh, hopefully we can set you two up on a date. Yes, I'd love that. Yeah. Just let me know. What were you like in high school? Oh, uh, I'd, I'd say I've changed, but I haven't at all. I haven't aged a little bit. Of course. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I look exactly the same as I did in high school. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe a new pair of glasses or a new pair of earrings, but nothing much different. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> So you brought something with you. Yeah. Is that like your favorite snack or? Yes, I love raisin bread. So Patty, if you had to choose between. Uh, my, it's, it's, it's Patricia. Gosh, Not, I'm so sorry. Uh, if you had to choose between raisin bran and a chicken man, what would you choose? What did you just say? If you had to choose. No, 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 no. I, that question is quite silly. Why, why Why? would you ask that? Why could I have raised a brand and a chicken man? That's just so unrealistic and inappropriate for a, a conversation like this. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, Patty, thanks for joining it's us today. It's Patricia.
Well, Patricia, thanks for joining us today. Man, what, <laughs> what an interview. I don't know how we hired this woman. I don't know how Patty got the job. I mean, look at me. It's pretty obvious. Uh, anyway, um, P Patty, we're so, I guess, thankful that you're a part of our team. And yes. Yeah. So, like, do you have any of, like, favorite moments? Mm, no. I have a lot of least favorites. Would you like me to share those? You don't have one favorite moment? No. Fine. And just share your least favorite. Maggie, Anton. What did I do? part of youth group, and so I didn't like any of it, but it's fine. But, yes, my least favorite. Mm, I'd have to say my least favorite was uh, I Miss Tom. But that, that was, was that was heartbreaking. You know, it really was. Looking back, I really don't miss Tom at all. I don't know why I ever missed him in the first place. So why did I write that song? I don't know. What a great song, though. It is. It's. Uh, it was very nicely written. It debuted uh, number two. The at key the of it was just fantastic. Just everything about it was really good. But no, that's, the, that's mine. The, the Not your guys' for you guys to show. Okay. I miss Tom. Yeah, that's not weak. No, yeah, let's that's not good. let's not sing that. Um, <clears throat> actually, let's just hear it one more time. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah right there. See it. That great of a My song. voice is beautiful. I mean, I mean there's nothing else I could really say. This yeah, you good. get someone else to sing it, and uh, it would elevate the song uh, to the next level. Wrote Anyways, speaking of elevating to the next level, um, I thought our games during youth group really elevated our youth group. Um, yeah, me being the game show host elevated it. Yes, you're right. N no, it was really the, the game no, contestant. Yeah. But anyway, we, we had a good time. Did you have any like favorite as the host of First Church Game Show? Do you have any favorite moments? No, there are some pretty awkward moments on like, a game show. Uh, like remember, like one of our first games, the the pool noodle sock game. Like really, like that was the game where the noodles touched. With costumes. Yeah. The noodles did touch, yeah, and your noodles did. should not be touching. They no. they should not. No. And so, oh, um, and then what we did at the end of the game is force some kids to drink a thing full of baby food. And what Karsten thing didn't even drink that no, much, but he Evan. Evan drank it. chugged it. He chugged it. Shout out to that dude. He's probably still sick to this day. But he that's probably all right, is. Because that looked disgusting. But I know. It was yeah, a pretty fun was... time being the game show host, I have to say. Oh, that was when you wore the cake. 
Yeah, I did it like that. That was awesome. I loved it. That was awful. So you are also the host of Wheel Unfortunate, and that was awesome, except for one one time. Well, I yeah, like my it. favorite one. That was your favorite? Zach out of was all of my them. contestant. And you know what? You got pretty dirty, and it was disgusting. And I have to say, that mess that we had to clean up afterwards might have been the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. I can't believe you guys forced me to help you, because I'm... I'm the game show host, for goodness sakes. I, I show up and look good, and that's all I got to do. <laughs> yeah, but thank God we don't have to revisit it. Yep, we're revisiting it right up there. No. Yeah, right no. up there. Oh, here we come. Oh. First round. So I just got to land it? Oh, just, I mean, on the bottom. Yeah, just, if that's what you're going to say. Just got to land it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, cut it, my brand. Okay. Upside down iced with the extra you know, barbecue in my cheese balls. My cheese balls. Oh, uh, come on. Yes. Are you One more time. No, One more time. Even if that's it. Yes. Wow. Oh, at least it smells good. I love the smell of, of coffee. Oh, oh, it's in my. Ah, it's in my eye. You want me to get it out for you? <coughs> I don't know. Hi, you look a little dirty there. You need some soap? <laughs> oh, that is this so. is going to get in my eyes. Yeah, and I'm, Flip it. Try not to. Freaking yeah, all over it. Yeah, that wasn't even close. Oh. Mm, what a pleasant oh. smell. <laughs> oh, it's. Oh, it's. There you, go. Oh. you want some? There's so much soap! Um, I think we need a little background music. Shoobadoobop, bop, da da bop, da da da. Shoobadoobop, shoobadoobop, you get your soap it up, uh, you soap it up. Shoop a doop bop bop, it's down dish so uh, <laughs> You need some uh, powder. Uh, uh, that looks like all purpose flour, am I right? It's gonna get all over, guys. Yeah, you're, you're Do you really right. think this one through? You See if you had me you know, uh, helping you with this. You know what? It's very. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know, Patricia, I'm starting to love you more and more. Sad. Not really, though. Sad. That's it. Just, oh, no. So does this mean you're fired up in this It's shirt? right. All the things that I do for you guys. Oh. Oh, look at what I just did for you. Yeah. You give me take. You give me take. How much flour is in there? Bushes baked beans! Oh. No, I'm not being covered yeah. with baked beans. Yeah, no. you know what? Flip it. Hey, Flip we'll hold the table just it. in case. Yeah, at least this doesn't go here. Bushes, baby. We're gonna need the fire station to come hose them down. No! Yeah, oh my gosh, there's barbecue! Oh, oh I'm oh, sorry. Ew, I just got it. Down my shirt, in my pants, between my toes. Oh, I got soap in my eye. I got freaking flour all over the place. Okay, guys, this is wrinkles? Make it stop. Maybe it's time you land something. <laughs> oh, you just want me to dump it? Okay. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> doing that. Okay. okay, this is the last one. Oh, okay. All right, good. It looks like there's poop on the spring. Okay, well, just a bustle. Just flip it. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, so I guess you don't. Yeah, take that. Oh, I just stopped in a bag pile. Oh, I should have done my You know what? You thought that was the last ingredient. I'm done. No. Nope. I'm done. You are not. No, no, no. You don't even get a chance to flip. <laughs> 
Ah, mas frustrado. Ah! So I'm supposed to be here with Bailey, but as everyone knows, you got me. Still Patricia. Why yeah. are you still here? The people want more. They love Nobody me. wants yes, more. Nobody do. watching right now wants more Patricia. Yes, they do. Get out of here. Everybody I need to go more. find Bailey. Mm, no. I need. You're just. You're. You're dropping Raisin Brand everywhere. Like it's. It's all over the place. Mm. You're making a mess. Zach. Zach. I have. I have a confession to make. I mean, it's all over. I have a confession to make, Zach. Why are you looking at me like that? Is this a joke? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh. It's me. No. Yep. No. I'm Bailey. You. You. All I those times. I actually hate Raisin Bran. I hate it. Wait, what? Everything about Raisin Bran. I hate See, I go, I go. <laughs> it's like a split personality. I go in and out. I know, it's crazy. Okay, let's I just. I gotcha. Uh, let's just, okay, Bailey, thanks for joining me. Uh, Patricia, I don't know at this point. It's really weird. Yeah, but it's what, me the so, entire time. So what are some of your favorite moments? I have to say, I do want to point this out uh, before you leave. I uh, remember that one time at a Sky Zone. <laughs> oh, that was a fun trip. Uh, yeah, and guess good. what? I uh, knocked you straight over. You looked like a fool being knocked over okay. by me. You yeah, let's. Um, you want to look at that? Cause I don't. I, don't <laughs> I know. I do. <laughs> Gosh, that was funny. That was good. Still hurts. Who got that on video? Still hurts. I don't know. So Becca Moss? I think it, I was, think it was Becca. Shout yeah. out to you, Becca. You're that incredible. was a good good trip, though. Yeah. But I, I'm sorry. I'm a little frazzled you're, right now. I still can't get over the fact that you were Patricia this whole time. Yeah, you're a little oblivious. Nobody found out. Nobody even had a clue. I mean, you guys looked like twins, but I didn't think that. <clears throat> no. It's, it's, it's me. So I that, got you guys. That time where we went to your house... Yeah, and that was a little Patricia? tricky. That was a little tricky, but I still got you guys. You I, guys had I no idea. I was standing there the whole time, and you, I still didn't know. Yeah, do you want to look back and see if you can? Let's see try some to clues? let's try to figure it out. Okay. Oh man, I cannot wait for this. This is gonna be so let's good go. for you, honey. I'm sure she'll like you. you I'm not worried. worried about her liking me, Maggie. It's just I don't. Just she is going to love you. You are going to love her. Honestly. So good. Guys. Oh, What's taking her so long? She must be on the toilet or something. <laughs> What's up, Bailey? Hey, Bailey. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Well, we uh, have someone that we would like you to meet. I see. Hello. Um, hi. Well, the reason why I'm here is is because uh, Tom's making a scavenger hunt for me, and one of the clues said something about a twin, and then these noobs think I look like you, and so they always just talk about it, and so that's why I'm here, because they think I look like you. But, uh, so did uh, Tom stop by? Uh, yeah, Tom did stop by. We had a great conversation. Don't talk to Tom. Okay, well, uh, Tom and I, yes, we've been friends since elementary school. I don't care. Well, how long have you known Tom? Uh, that's past the point. It doesn't take long for love to grow. <laughs> well, um, he never said anything about you stopping by. Not one thing. But he did leave this yellow egg. Oh, shush it. He always talks about me. That egg is mine. Uh, sorry about that one, yeah. Bailey. She's a little sassy today. Yeah. But, uh, thank you for, for everything. Yep, you're welcome. But, um, yeah, never bring her ever, ever, ever back again to my house. 
Yeah, we, we won't. Yeah, thanks, Sorry. guys. Have a good one. I, that was good. I still can't that see it. That was good. I, I still can't see well, it, and I was there. I did it. I did it. It's pretty I impressive. I don't know. That's just crazy for me. No, Are there any a... other moments, though, that were you really loved about Youth Group? Yeah. Um, I really, like, I can't choose a favorite. I think the best part of it was all the behind-the-scenes stuff, and we did some pretty weird stuff and had some weird Like, we had long nights, happened. and really there were some nights. nights where we just, all of us hated each other. Yeah, there and was there a lot of those nights. And we loved nights. each other, and like, yeah. we loved doing this. There was a couple this. of those. Yeah. So, no, just was, a couple. It was, it was some good recording times, and I just think it was... It was so much fun, like, getting to know all of you better, and, yeah, it was long nights, and, yeah. Lot so it of, truly was rewarding together. having people tune in and comment. and Yeah, it and, was. It was cool. It was cool to still be able to reach people during all the crazy right. things going on. So, right. so yeah, that was yeah. that was cool. And one of my favorite parts of youth group every Sunday night is, is the worship. Yeah, for Because sure. I will say this um, until I die, that we have the best student worship team that I, I've ever heard. And so uh, just being able to hear you guys sing and play and, and, and do it for Jesus is really mm -hmm. encouraging to me. So Thanks, what was your, how'd you feel about worship? Yeah, I have a blast with those guys. I mean, from taking some of us that do it with Micah on Sunday mornings, you know, and being able to do it for the congregation and everything and then bringing it to Sunday nights and kind of putting our own turn on things. Um, it's really fun. We, but I must say my favorite song that we've ever done. I think I know. I think it's, Rattle. Yeah. Rattle. Rattle. It has to be. It was so fun. And that song, oh, there's nothing like it out there. And so I think we should give it one more listen. Let's listen one more time. Yeah. So wherever you're at, just sing the song. Who cares who's around you? Right? Yeah, who cares? Just sing it. It's for Jesus. For Jesus. Let's take a look. <laughs>
I'm here with Mr. Tom Moss, That's the me. last of the three. Hey, that I can say my own name. Group. So I'm Tom Moss. Uh, it's good to see you. I'm going to be a senior. He always wants the spotlight. Hey. Always I, does. Well, just stop talking. So Tom was one of the three that helped with youth group. And Tom, what were some of your like favorite things that have happened at youth group? I guess some of my favorite things was my filming. Uh, I love filming so much. It was much. awful. Oh, it, it was awful. It hey, just was. I, there were moments where like an entire scene had no audio. There no. were moments the camera do you have was extremely shaky. Do you it, have proof? I do have proof. Let's watch it. Go to the tape. Yeah. Now, just, I think that's fake. It drove me nuts. Just okay, I can't audio, really say that that's was... fake because I know it actually happened, and of it's not my it fault. Happened. I was videoing with no experience. No, it at was all. his fault because there's I there's a not... mic there. You just gotta turn it on and then hit record. It wasn't done. It anyway, had a lot of pressure. Anyway, we're so glad Tom uh, was there recording video. Yeah, they really Such were great. You know what? Time. My favorite one was. What's your favorite like moment? Uh, I guess Christmas party would have been a lot of fun. If the rules didn't get bent um, for the green team, because yeah. I just got to say the red team killed all the competitions. They and did. And I, I was the a captain of the mm, red team, but I was and also the rule, still guy. the rule guy. Um, and but yeah, I, I thought the red team should have won. It was a, it was a great time. I mean, yeah. we saw kids like doing the little candy cane game and then I did that falling and down. I about fell over, but Levi really about fell over. Wait, we it, should watch a couple of the kids about fell like fall on their face and also watch at the end our uh, cross country star here lost to Isaac let's watch Yeah, see, it even now, looked like you crossed over before I Isaac. won. I can tell you that because I was super scared, but I was dizzy, so I guess I can't I really know. force sure. Isaac was it. throwing up his hot chocolate Ooh. all over the table and everything. Ooh. And he like it was in his hand and then he would like kind of it was it was awesome. That's terrible. That's, I don't want to hear That's typical anything. Isaac though, right? I mean, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Remember when Isaac did that closing video though? Oh yeah, that just a couple weeks ago. Favorite. Man, he stole the show. I mean, it was the best. It moved me so much, and I just can't believe it. So, And it lasted a whole five seconds. I mean... You want to flip to it really quick? Let's just go real quick. Okay. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Stay tuned for next week. I mean, if you blinked, you missed it. So, <laughs> yeah, literally. But, but thank you, Isaac, hey. for that. So, Look at his stash, though. So, Tom, you were a part of our behind the scenes. You were a part of some I stuff was. on screen. What was like your favorite like episode of Youth Group? Um, hmm. I guess probably one of my favorites was Gone Fishing. That was a good one. Because I, we I wasn't fishing. really involved in that one. You guys led the way. Yeah, we did. And did all of it. We kicked you out and did. we did it ourselves because that's what we do. So you and Maggie were the host. And yeah. I remember you guys were in a boat. Yeah. Right? And we caught and these two huge fish. Huge ones. I, were they real? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they came you, straight out of Lake Maloney. Okay. So you got to know. So as you can see right now, this is the fish. And yeah. It looks Look really at it. fake. It's looks, huge. It looks photoshopped. No, no. But, okay, no. whatever. Look at it. Anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, that also featured a game between Savannah and Maya. Did oh, you? that was so much fun. I mean, Patricia was dogging on those two. And that probably added 
a bunch of character to it. That's and true. I mean, Maya had a little bit of a surprise at the end for losing. So, I mean, it sucks to be her, I guess. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Maya and Savannah! <laughs> Are you guys ready to bobs and bobbers? Oh, you bet. She's okay. going down. Oh, okay, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a minute on the clock, and just like Bob and Apples, they're going to stick their ugly faces in there and get all these bobbers out as many as they can. But only one at a time. No grabbing multiples, okay? Okay, one at a time for one whole minute. But uh, <laughs> we always know at Patricia's Game Show we have a kicker. And here it is. The loser has to jump in the uh, freezing cold Lake Maloney Lake. Oh my gosh. Are you guys so excited? She's excited. Oh, no. well, I'm excited to see one of you jump in. I don't know. Okay, so let's put a minute on that clock. Go! Bob them bobbers! Woo! Oh my gosh, you both suck! <laughs> Okay, so let's count the bobbers. Um, well, uh, it is pretty obvious to the eye that uh, Maya officially sucks at this game. So, oh, Savannah, you're the winner! <laughs> okay, and you know what that means, Maya? You're the loser. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get ready to jump in the lake. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we're at the lake. Step right up. Get in. So those were some of the best moments, memories from this past year. And, and I love that you got to hear from Maggie and Bailey and Patricia and Tom. And, and those three or four, depending on how you feel about Patricia, uh, were the brains behind youth group. And they made sure that we had youth group this past four months. And really, they were the, a big part of our past year in student ministry. And uh, well, this is it. Uh, my last message for you, and uh, I don't know where to begin really, except to say, students, uh, thank you so much for being a part of our student ministry this past year. Uh, thank you so much just for me personally, from the bottom of my heart, for taking the chance on me because you didn't have to come to youth group and enjoy it and be a part of it. You could have just stayed home. But those of you that came, you took a chance on it, and you're like, man, okay, Zach, he's okay. Uh, okay, the music's really good. Um, okay, this, this dodgeball, this sky guy ball, whatever we were playing is, is actually pretty fun. And uh, you loved hanging out with one another. And so I, I, I want to thank you for that, for, for coming and being a part of our student ministry. For me personally, I know Sunday nights was my favorite night. It was my favorite time of the entire week. Because for me, Sunday nights, I had an opportunity to hang out with you guys. I had an opportunity to not just hang out and, and play dodgeball, but I had an opportunity to hear your story, how God was working in your life. Maybe you just really had a, you had a crappy week, and I was able to sit down with you, man, you were able, you were able to talk about it with me. So we had all these opportunities uh, to hang out on Sunday nights. And I hope that when you came to Sunday Night Youth Group, that you were able to catch a glimpse of who Jesus really is. I think when it was time to have fun, we had fun. When it was time to throw dodgeballs at people's faces or uh, listen to Maya rap uh, in every song that had a rap part, she was a part of it. Or maybe it was just going to Applebee's after youth group. Whatever it may be, you knew when to have fun. Just like you knew when to have fun, we also knew when it was time to worship, when it was time to get serious about 
about God. And we have some of the most talented students that I've ever seen. And I don't just say that. You know, I think of someone like Maggie. Man, amazing voice, a unique voice, and a killer bass player. I think of someone like Alicia. Man, just powerful vocals, powerful uh, singer. And, and she has this ability to, to play piano, even though nobody ever knows that she's playing piano because she's always tucked away in a corner. But she, she does a great job with that. I think of Bailey. I think, man, Bailey has a unique voice. And it almost has like a soul, like indie voice. And it's so powerful. And she does a great job of playing uh, acoustic guitar. And I love hearing her, her lead, like Graves in the Garden. It's a great song. And I think of our other students, man. I think of Isaac. Uh, man, he just kills it on the electric guitar. He's probably the best electric guitarist I've ever um, seen in person. You know, I mentioned Maya in a joking way, how she's always willing to do the rapping part whenever we need someone to rap. But, you know, she has a great voice and a great heart. You know, I think of Sierra and Savannah and Carly and Katrina and Hallie. All of the, uh, these ladies participated in some way. They led worship in some way this past year for, for youth group. But they're always willing and ready to sing and do such an amazing job in doing so. And I can't forget about the one and only David who is playing the, the cajon or that box drum, whatever it's called. Man, his skills are just unmatched. And what I love about all these students, what I love about all of you is that you guys love Jesus. And I love that you're open about where you are in your relationship with Jesus. Because some of you will openly admit that, hey, my life's not really the best, but I love Jesus. Or some of you, I'm, I'm not really, I don't have Jesus in my life right now. Like I'm really struggling with some things, but I, but I love him and I want him in my life. And so that's, to me, is really cool. Over the past 15 months, over the past year in youth group, man, since I arrived here in North Platte, we had some great times. I think of the one, like three days into my job, I almost lost a student. Levi, I'm so sorry, but it was on that mission trip to Denver. We almost left you at that Red Robin. Or maybe it was the sushi meals with the group, should have been a cowboy. And I, that was when I peer pressured Sierra into eating sushi, and that probably wasn't the best idea. Or I gave money, 20 bucks, I think, to Karsten to eating a big old thing of wasabi. Or maybe it was our half-nighter. Man, I loved our half-nighter. People coming together and just hanging out, having fun, playing Fortnite, playing dodgeball, playing volleyball with this huge ball, and, and being able to worship at midnight. How cool was that? And then we were able to kick off in September our brand new youth group format where the lighting was amazing and, and we did it right here in the chapel and we had, these, we had a great band and, and it was so cool to kickstart that. I loved attending over the past year so many of your extracurricular activities, whether that was you know, on stage, whether that was playing an instrument, playing a sport. And I did my best to support you and encourage you in the things that you love to do the most. Man, our Christmas party was amazing. You heard it mentioned uh, previously in this. You probably heard a bunch of this stuff mentioned already. But even though the wrong team won, green team, we had a great night. And I loved having fun, but we saw several students that night at our Christmas party say yes to receiving the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. So that was awesome. I don't know if you participated in the Tidy Bowl, but uh, one of the cool things that our church did was a football game, flag football game between our students and adults. And it was a really hard fought competitive game and I was refereeing and it came down to the very last play, but unfortunately, the adults pulled away with the victory. And yes, Ryan, I even looked at the, the replay, and you guys were a little short. You know, I think of things like uh, having the honor and the privilege of praying at the beginning of Karsten's Eagle Scout ceremony. And just being so proud of what he has accomplished and what he's going to accomplish in his life. You know, we had Alicia and Maggie choose to intern at our church and just that alone was encouraging to me but I learned so much from those girls 
I love their heart for Jesus. I love their heart for the church and I love their heart for other people. And everything was going well. Everything was good. Man, we had one of our best series on relationships in February and then all of a sudden, COVID hit. And this was something that nobody really had any clue how to face. A lot of question marks, a lot of uncertainties. But as they say in show business, the show must go on. So we thought, okay, what's the best thing that we can do for our youth group? How can we keep this going? And for the past four months, Maggie, Bailey, and Tom have put in so much time, energy, work, and effort into youth group online. So whether you've taken advantage of it or not, man, they worked their butt off. And those three students, young adults, friends, those are some of the most driven and hardworking students I've ever met. They worked so hard so that you, their friends, could be encouraged during this COVID season. Sometimes it was crazy with our schedules and trying to get everyone together to plan every single week. And so sometimes we meet at like 5.30, 6 in the morning to go over youth group. We wanted to make it the best possible thing ever. And even though there were times when we were planning youth group and trying to figure it out that we wanted to rip each other's heads off, we loved every single second of planning and executing youth group. You know, I was able to step back a lot during the last four months. And I was able to watch our teenagers lead. And if you haven't want, done so yet, if you haven't watched our, our youth group online, please go to our YouTube channel. You're probably already on it right now. And watch some previous episodes. I know for me personally, Senior Night, I think I said this already, but Senior Night was my, one of my favorites. Uh, Easter was one of my favorites. And also, how can you forget the OG, the original youth group online um, back in March? You know, and I mentioned those three, and I just want to say something really quickly to those three because I want to encourage them and lift them up. But Maggie, I'm just excited to see where the Lord takes you. You have this love for people that's truly inspiring to me and to other people. I've watched you grow in your relationship with Jesus over the last six months, and it's truly been a joy. You have these huge dreams, like starting your own band, Something about owning a greenhouse and working from the United Kingdom. I mean, huge dreams. But please just keep the Lord at the front and go get your dreams. You know, Bailey, I've seen you grow so much over the past year. You have this passion. You have this desire to see so many people know Jesus. And every time I see you like reading your Bible, we used to meet, in case you didn't know this or you weren't a part of it, there's just a bunch of random people would meet at Starbucks at six in the morning just to hang out. And she'd always read her Bible and it was always encouraging to me. It, was, it would encourage me to even read my Bible even more. But please don't stop using your gifts, whether that's golf or guitar or whatever, to point people to Jesus. And you mentioned becoming a youth pastor. That could be a possibility later in life. Don't do it. Run away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But get in God's word. Listen for that whisper. Love God and people and never stop learning. Tom, you're a special kid. And there are times I want to smack you for saying or doing something stupid. But man, I can see God's hand all over your life. Don't waste the opportunity that God is putting in front of you. Keep studying God's word. Keep pursuing Jesus. Keep allowing the Holy Spirit to guide your thoughts, to guide your words, your actions. You know, Tom, when I think of you, I think of 1 Timothy 4.12. And I love that verse. And it says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Don't let people look down on you because of your age. And it says, but set the example for the believers, for the people watching you in speech. So what you say in conduct, in what you do, in love, in faith, in purity. I know you've set the example many times for me personally. 
whether you were sending a snap, checking on me, making sure I was okay when you saw I was driving just randomly out late at night to clear my head. Or maybe it was when I needed something done, you'd make sure it was done. Tom, you, Maggie, Bailey, students watching, you will do incredible things in your lifetime, but that's only if you keep Jesus at the center of everything. And I could stand here and I could talk about Alicia or Isaac or Karsten or Maya or River or Seton or Celia or Carly or Layton or Levi or Elizabeth, Marissa, Evan, Toby, Aiden, Cash, Hallie, uh, Ryan, and many more. I could talk about so many of you and I could brag on you and I would love to do that, but it would take forever. Just know that I love you guys. I'm here for you guys. Add me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. But you guys will always have a special place in my heart. I pray that every single student watching this right now will take 1 Timothy 4.12 to heart. And that's after you've accepted Christ in your heart. As a reflection, as a response to what Jesus is doing inside of you, I pray that you set the example to everyone watching, to every single person who doesn't believe in you, who looks looks at you and goes, this generation, and we're counting them out. Let's hope the next generation comes up after them and they're better. Pray that those people would watch you, would listen to you, because you're setting the example you're setting the example in your, in your words, your actions, and how you love people. I hope and pray that you will love every single person, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, gay, bi, transgender, rich, poor. I pray that people will see your example by how you love all kinds of people. Your faith, it's important to set the example by your faith. How's your relationship with Jesus? How's that Bible reading coming along? Because maybe for some of you, you need to get in the scripture more. And I'm not saying read chapters and chapters and chapters at a time. I'm saying read a verse. Be encouraged by the word of God. Ask God to speak to you, to use that verse that you're reading For one, to make sense, and for two, to apply it to your life, and three, to give you the boldness to go out and do what that verse says. So set the example in what you say and what you do and your love and your faith and in your purity. Some of you need to stop sleeping around. Some of you need to stop fooling around with that girl or with that guy because people are watching, people are listening. You are setting the example with your purity. And don't think that you're, you already made too many mistakes or, oh, I've already had sex. I've already done certain things. So God, you know, he can't forgive me. He can and will forgive you if you ask for it. And there's this clean slate that will happen in your life. Man, I love you guys. I want to pray for you. God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you're doing in my life and in the students watching their lives. I pray, God, that you would give them the boldness to live out what Paul was teaching Timothy. To make a difference in this world, to set the example with our words, our actions, with how we love people, with how our faith looks, and with how we deal with purity. God, I love these students here in North Platte. I know you love them even more. Encourage them today, Lord. Love them today, Lord. I know you have big plans for their life, and I'm excited to see them from afar. Love you, God, and we pray these.
these things in your name. Amen.